trying to say, well, if we don't win, it's not the end of the league. The Barcelona present trainer and the players, they've been trying to say the same thing, but I think basically deep down, everybody knows Madrid don't win today. It would need a miracle for them to... Yeah, it really would be a miracle. It, I mean, really, it, would. Re it really would be a miracle. We've got Andres Iniesta in the Barca starting lineup. Must remember, of course, Deco picked up his fifth booking of the season by now. If we would have wanted him to stay on, they would have renewed that contract. They haven't done that. There's Ronaldo looking to surge through the middle. Bright start this from under his David Beckham going to pick the ball up, carrying it into space. Looks up the England captain, Kells, a decent cross in there! Well, still not gone out, and Valdez, what was that from Valdez? Goodness gracious! Crowd behind the ball, the goal are asking for handball. Um, it's a superb cross from David Beckham. Not sure what Valdez was doing here. Means a little bit of a disappointment for him. Ooh, Raul just getting caught there by Puyol. Referee Ramirez Dominguez over quickly. Ooh, Ooh, flash of heads there, yeah, that will hurt. A little bit late there, Puyol, actually. Just suspension to Walter Samuel, a pretty needless suspension he picked up last week as they won 2 1 in Albacete. And Albacete lost 2 1 in to Hatafe today. Roberto Carlos, that's a good cross there. Giovanni not dealing with that one properly, the ball's still in there. Michael Owen with his new boots on, curling that one across, there's the goal! Zidane. It's Zinedine Zidane! Well, Barcelona have started, they look really ropey from start, right from the very start. Zidane hurt himself on the post, I think, but he was so open on the far post. Well, exactly, six minutes down, Zidane making it 1-0 for Madrid, and that's exactly what the home fans will have been looking for. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, cross. Ronaldo puts it across, cross. there he is, but slides in, completely unmarked. Yeah, totally unmarked. Um, in front of you, had to sal sal salvage something from the season. Yeah. I still think six points is a lot to make up in seven weeks against a team like Barcelona with players like Marquez! Firing well wide there, the Mexican. Should have carried on, you know, he, he had, really should have carried on. He had space, didn't he? Yeah, it's a great pass from Belletti, I think it was. Bit of battling yeah. potential in midfield. Here's Ronaldinho. They so lost four pounds, they reckon, through um, his gastroenteritis. Oh, Done well there, caught by Graveson and the referee giving the free kick. I think he was caught by Graveson three or four times, <laughs> actually. Against Barcelona, Madrid taking a six minute lead through Zinedine Zidane, heading home from close range. Held over by Xavi, and that did Ooh. not miss by much. In fact, Casillas had to tip it over. There's Marcus, that's what we're saying. Danger from the ball's great. Given, given the Maybe, oh, it's a strange decision. Have a look. Maybe someone's offside. Not offside. And that hits, oh, no, it hits the it top of the it, bar. Yeah. Well, I've had it. Oliger picks out Ronaldo. Works himself space, Ronaldo thinks about the shot. Said he opens it out to Roberto Carlos. Roberto Carlos! What was he doing? You would have expected to wall up that one. Yeah, and I think the fans expected exactly that as well. They really did. And Ronaldo had two or three options. He could have played Owen back in, could have played uh, Raul in. Actually did very, very well. Very, very cool head to Roberto Carlos. And yeah, what? That one out the back of the net. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, oh, what a terrible miss. That was a great chance there. Michael Owen. No, no, it was Elgeda. It was Elgeda who actually got the header. Um, no midfield in this game. Is no, it's attack to attack. Oof. Well, there's absolutely, in there, Giovanni. there's absolutely no doubt that he got the ball. I mean, I think he made, there was quite a lot of, uh, let's say, hip contact with Mitra Sagala, but, but there's no doubt that he got the ball. Something tells me if somebody's lost four pounds of weight over the last four or five days, he's going to struggle to really be at his best today. <laughs> Salgado. Come on. A little bit of space to Ronaldo. Good movement there from the Brazilian. He fancies chances taking on Oleguer. It is Ronaldo, Ooh, a little bit lucky there to get away with it, Ronaldo again. In fact, he didn't get away with it. Free kick, says the referee. I'm just wondering, uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah. Oh, that's surprising. I think they're going to load the penalty spot here, they're going to put three or four in there. I wonder if Becker might have got the near post here. Flicks that one in, easy, 2-0! Dreadful defending there, and it is! Number 13 for Ronaldo! Well, it's the second time in that far post that, that Brown would have been completely alone. 
score a goal now, just to give it a little bit more emotion. They've come close on a couple of occasions, not yet arrived, and every time Madrid have really put a serious ball into the box, they've created. Connison has really gone in a few times. Belletti has struck to sort of look up this wing, but I've really not seen it. Rabelson. Well, the referee bringing the crowd in front of us to, to the feet with the lines of battle, he probably isn't. I think after watching last week's de um, defensive performance, Eto burst to Samuel Eto! Oh, what a goal! What a fabulous Samuel goal! Samuel Eto! They must hate the sight of him here in the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium because every time he turns up, Eto hits the back of the Madrid net and that is probably what the neutral fan would have wanted to see. Certainly what the Madrid fans wanted to see. What a fabulous goal. And I tell you, it's a fabulous goal, not because he's done anything particularly clever. It's just, this is just sheer willpower. Look, first pass is his. Then he dashes on here. It's just willpower through the middle. That's a great, great little finish. finish. Great finish. What is it? It's, it's Elgeta and Roberto Carlos. Right, but see Roberto Carlos did really well. So just quick. Toe poke it past him. What an um, what game we've got on our hands. Oof, well, fabulous. And Helguera Oof. just wide that. I've got my Eto statistics to recount now. They must. And Madrid could have had him on their books for nothing. Ronaldinho, Giovanni. All of a sudden, Barca! And how close was he to getting on the end of that one? Well, I'll tell you the answer to that. He was very. Again, we have got on our hands. Zidane. Lots of space on the right, Beckham curls the ball across, Oliguer! Goodness oh. gracious, Puyol! Oliguer's able to half clear, not particularly well, Graveson wallops that one over the bar! <laughs> Excuse me, well, I just have an intake of breath. Goodness, yeah. good grief, that was dreadful defending from Oliguer, if I may comment. It was. And curled in from Beckham, and Oliguer, whoops, oh, missing that. Oh. Oh. Julie's through now, Ludovic Julie, can he finish? Oh, just, just wide! wide. I've seen him put those in though. Normally he gets a little bit of a curl on those. Yeah. I actually thought he should have carried up here at least until the end of the month. As I say, we'll be in the Calderon next weekend, that's planned. And the week after we'll be back here to see Madrid take on Villarreal. Belletti, Marquez, block. Tried the right pass. Um, it just didn't come off for him. It's Belletti. Gets a bit of a really decent cross there. This time he's blocked by Ronaldo. Not often you see Ronaldo defending that deep. Away with a slightly slack control, Belletti. Taking on Roberto Carlos, gives it to Xavi, Ronaldinho. Just trying to work a little space there, Ronaldinho, back to Eto. Xavi, will he think about the spot? Shot now, one to Belletti, crossed over. Rui! Brilliant defending on the far post there from Salgado. Yeah, so Salgado did Salgado. there what the Barca defence didn't do on the two Madrid goals. Yeah, Got exactly. there. Lots of room Lots for, for Julie again. He's got Eto storming through the middle. He's against Elguera. Eto still getting into space. Julie. Ronaldinho. Poor control from Ronaldinho. He's lucky to get there. Turns back on himself. Right ball. Here's right. Is Julie. Lines it up. Julie over the bar. That's a wasted attack there from Barcelona. It certainly is. It's a dreadful waste. You just wonder as well, I mean. But uh, Eto was storming through the middle. Pavon gave him a little, a little. Right in those two defensive lines, letting the strikers close down the man on the ball. There, Ronaldo just using his um, using his body against Belletti. In fact, he's got a bit more body than Belletti. Julian to the area. Ludovic Julian. Casillas. Great save. Great save from Casillas. Saint Ica, as they call him here. Well, I'm looking at my notes from the chances. Bill <coughs> uh, with Xavi. Xavi Hernandez cutting back, looks up. Great ball in there for Iniesta. He's won it. Giovanni! Say Casillas saves oh. again. Well, he doesn't get paid like a Galactico Ica Casillas, but well, goodness he should, gracious, yeah. he should do. Giovanni doing well there. Great ball. Eto, well. Samuel Eto, he's got Graveson ahead of him. I'm sure Eto will use his pace here. Elguera tries once. Eto taking on Graveson. Finds Julie, that's a great run. Oh, brilliant challenge there at the end. And is that going to go? Oh, he's a bit lucky there, Casillas, I think. I think Casillas might be a little bit lucky, yeah. Man, I think Julie's going over saying, yeah, fair enough. 
yet another counter-attack from Barcelona. It's a great, great idea from Julian. It's a brilliant, brilliant challenge. It's David Beckham. Was, I mean, we've seen well, Beckham no, and no, Owen. No, both. no, no, no. Inside, Iniesta chasing him back. Space in the middle of the park. Well, big surprise there. Lots of room for Roberto Carlos. Trying to storm past Belletti. Crosses it. Oh, 3 1. Well, we said that Madrid could score any minute, and that could be a killer goal. And I have to say, a bit cruel for Barca, but how happy are they in the Bernabeu? Unbelievable. Raul, who's been pretty rubbish all game. <laughs> Unbelievable. How on earth? I mean, how on earth? There, and Barca could quite easily be at least level. Oh, easy. Uh, Barca, should, Barca should be winning this game. It's, uh, it's incredible to say it, but they should be winning this game. As it is, 45 minutes. And something we've got to bear in mind, but he did score that all-important opening goal. Ball for Owen. He can use his pace here on this wing of Valdez. Out of his area quickly there. The Belletti looking to get the ball in. Once again, not a great cross. Actually, but he has found it too. And this time, Casillas again denying Ludovic Julie. We're taking off well, as we ended the first yeah. half. Great little knockdown there from Eto. Lovely chip come territory. Yeah, yeah, I was just looking at the back of my quite, quite fancy shot from him. So in hovering, Beckham having a go! Decent pass there for Beckham as well. Ui, Giovanni wrist thought about it, didn't he? Is Beckham into the area, pulls it back! And in the 65th minute of the game, Ika Casillas with a goal kick for Real Madrid. Marquez. Oliguer in there, Iniesta. Oh, great turn. Lovely little turn. Oh, oh brilliant. brilliant skill there from Iniesta. Good tackle, though, Elgar in fast on it, though, as you have to be. And here's Michael Owen. Through on goal, Michael Owen. Can he make it four? He can! What a fabulous goal. What a great striker Michael Owen is with his 11th goal of the season. Magnificent. But. <laughs> <laughs> Real Madrid have had four shots on Four target. shots on target, four They're goals. Four one up. They are four one up. Uh, it's a great finish. It's a really great finish, but right through the middle, Michael Owen. David Beckham played it in. Well, we've seen them do that time after time for England, for, for Queen and country, God bless them. <laughs> Here he is, Maxi. Well, Barca need a goal. Even if they're not going to save the game now. That's a penalty. No, he's not giving Ooh, it. Ooh, I thought that, to be honest, I thought that was. For that goal, how important is that in the general context of the list? This is the referee. Play on. Van Bronckhorst. This time is Pavon clearing the ball. Van Bronckhorst back in there. Xavi. Barcelona dominating the ball around the Madrid penalty area. And that is a free kick. Save off, save off a defeat now, but I say in the general context of the league, it could be very, very important. Could have been. Could have been. I wonder if Luxembourg will bring on Figo for the last 10 minutes. Be a nice gesture. Ronaldinho! What a fabulous goal. <laughs> what an incredible goal. He's done nothing all night. Nika can see saying to the wall, you meant to jump. That is unbelievable, and that is a vital goal there for Barca. Yeah. Yeah, much more important than it than it sort of seems <laughs> with, with, all, with all these people kind of quiet oh well it's just a goal but that's much more important than it, than it may seem it's a fabulous goal for, for Samuel Eto to Ronaldinho will that just inspire the Brazilian it seems to that goal here he is Ronaldinho is he going to go all the way he could still do that Ronaldinho the ball just cut out there as Van Broncos was looking to Samuel do something and Samuel Eto is down. down in the middle of the park that is not good news for Barca. Oh, goals, can't they? I mean, it's scoring goals is not a problem. Nice round of applause for Eto as he's carried off the pitch. That's yeah. very, very generous from the Madrid fans. Very generous indeed. A I, lot, lot it's sort of mixed, isn't it? There's some, some whistling him off. There's quite a lot of applause. I wonder if there's a, there's a sense there that, you know, they know it's maybe he had to leave. Maybe it wasn't his fault. I think that's pretty true. And that is Damia who's going to be coming on. Basically clashing. Ronaldinho leaving a bit of an elbow there on Salgado. There's no love lost between those two, is there? No. Nope. Great ball. Ooh, Ooh. Damien just couldn't quite get in there. Going to be winning this game after 90 minutes.
Could be winning it now after 82. Ronaldo surging forward and Valdez. He's Wait, made, he's let's made not, a let's not forget, yeah, but let's not forget how important another goal for Madrid would right, be. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Marquez. It's what you come to the Primera Liga for, yeah, isn't it? Exactly. I mean, you know, basically the playing games like Madrid Barca. Not only has he played in it, but he scored in it. The fourth goal for his side is Luis Figo. And there's a big roar for Figo, isn't there? Really. Yeah. Just lacking that little bit of incisiveness, though, Barca now. And Madrid will be hoping to take advantage of it in his last seven minutes here in the Bernabeu. It's 4-2 to Madrid. Barcelona with key players off the pitches. Figo, he'd love to finish this with a goal. As it is, he's set up Ronaldo. Ronaldo's got Beckham on the outside. David Beckham! Cleared for his side. It's Capizan Mata Roberto Carlos. And it's Santiago Solari who comes on. Xavi. To Ronaldinho. It is Ronaldinho! Ica! Ten minutes. Thank you. How important that was. It is Beckham. Certainly fancying his chances, and that did not miss by a lot. I think he saw Valdez off his line there. Yeah, I think he did. Luis Figo on the ball now. He's sure he's going to fancy his chances, but straight at Valdez. Where's he going? Well, <laughs> nowhere. Okay, see, so he wins a free kick. Ronaldinho curling it in, and Casillas once again saving. Probably win. Yeah. Tricky one is the trip to San Sebastián to play Real Sociedad. That is a tricky one. Here against Villarreal in theory is quite tough as well. And there it is. Final whistle the in the Bernabeu after 90 minutes. Three minutes of injury time. Real Madrid for Barcelona two, and that means the Primera Liga is still with seven weeks to go, alive and kicking.